Right, welcome to this video. Um, I thought this might be a little bit different and uh, for many years, since I, ever since I've had a motorhome, I've always left the motorhome plugged into the electric on the drive. At a previous house it was plugged into a socket they had on the wall and when we moved here I never had that socket put on the wall. My lead goes from the motorhome under the garage door and into the socket in the garage. So I thought it would be a better idea to have an outside socket and then it means I don't have to keep opening up the garage door to get at that socket. Uh, and it also means I can plug in my garden uh, electrical tools into the outside socket. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a smallish job and it's probably difficult for uh, a lot of electricians to justify doing this but what I thought I'd do is I'd get a qualified electrician in. Now my friend Glyn, uh, uh, the Beckwith's channel, he's a qualified electrician, he's got his own business and he's kindly offered to come over and show, show us how it should be done. So let's have a look at that. Right then we've got the, got the expert here today. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> So what we want to do is we want to put a socket on the outside of the garage. At the moment, I've got this arrangement here going out to the motorhome. Which ever means if I want to actually um, unplug that. Bear with me. You can have them doing you. Yeah. So if I want to unplug that, I've got to climb underneath the garage. Now the problem is, of course, I've got the motorhome pushed forward a little bit further up there. Normally the motorhome's about here or about here and I can't get in the garage. Not without crawling on my hands and knees just underneath. We're going to put this on the outside. Yep. And this is basically what you get on your caravan site. Yep. Which then allows you to plug this. One into it. We'll pretend that it's yep. got a lead on it. And it just Plugs in just like you would on a caravan site. Yeah, and that's With it. And that's that. it. That's uh, waterproof. That that's that thing, isn't IP it? IP. Yeah. Forty-five rates. Forty-four. <laughs> Forty-four. Okay. Created. Yeah. It's it's showerproof. It's showerproof. Not. Yeah. I mean, it'd be sitting yeah. un underneath the eaves yeah. of the garage anyway. So. That's right. That's what I say. Yeah. yeah. I would advise that we put it high up yeah. as possible. So. Okay. Uh, so so it's possibly up much. up here then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. So what were you saying about the uh, breaker box here? The breaker box, in your breaker ear box, you've got a 32 amp fuse. Yeah. And this cable that's feeding the socket yep. is only rated at 20 amp. Right. So your 32 amp fuse ain't going to trip. Well the wire's going to go before, yeah, the wire, the wire is, before the breaker. The, this a possibility the wire would melt before the breaker yeah. tripped. So uh, thank you Bellway. So uh, the only good thing is that on the inside mm. you've got an RCD yeah. which should yeah. trip prior to that. Um, yeah. Once the neutral and death touch together, Touch, they should trip they should quick, trip. quickly anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but but that but that cable well, there. If you, had, if you hadn't got the uh, RCD, that fuse is yeah. twice as big as it should be. Yeah, really. that's right. You'd, Really should be looking at a 16 amp. Yeah, it's a bit like putting a, a screw in a, in a plug, isn't it? And yeah. <laughs> hoping for the best. So. Yeah, so hopefully I can get rid of this then. So I'll probably let you do the rest. The other thing I noticed was <laughs> was that. It's all right. It's kids. No, no, it's kids. Oh, yeah. Nice bit of wire in there. That, that, I bought that, so probably because it's been hanging like that exactly, for ages. Yeah. yeah. I I have the same at home. Yeah. Only I made mine myself. Yeah. So this is longer. Yeah. And it actually sits on something down right. there just to take the take weight, the weight off it. it. Yeah. Doing that. Yeah. So hopefully this whole thing will be a bit better. And I can shorten the cable as well because yeah. I've got a massive cable here. So so shall we go outside and have a look yeah. where we're going to place yeah. it? Okay. Might have to count bricks, I suppose, here, won't we? Ah, your eaves are up there. You've not got any eaves of such, have you? No, no, it's not. Here. I was thinking they were a bit wider, but they're not, are they? No. 
it might be better if it Okay. On this side, rather yeah. than... If we can get through that break, that's the only trouble, isn't it? Oh, get through that. Easy peasy. And come round. Yeah, if you want to come inside, yeah. we'll shut the garage door. Oh. That's going to stay there. We've got perhaps they just push way through there. There's nothing. This one right, stops yeah. there. Yeah. So, well, then we'll just drop it down into, into the there. fuse box. Oh, that's easy, isn't oh, it? I see. Yeah. Another thing I can put my finger right sits up at fuse box. So oh, that's there. nice. <laughs> so, if you rested a screwdriver on top there, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, so we can just come down into the breaker. Yeah. We don't even have to go anywhere near the socket. Okay. Well, that's easier because then it means I don't have to run the wire over, over the, the fence. fence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. All right then. Also means you don't have to have your 20 meter lead out. You can just use a 10 meter 10 lead. 10 meter lead, which I can then take with me when I go away. Yeah. I, I, I take both with me. Yeah. Very, very rarely use a 10 meter lead when I'm away. But having said that, that's time I'm away. Yeah. I, out to three sites, I only use the 20 meter ones. Yeah. Ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes you need a, an extra bit of lead yeah. on a, a, particularly on continental sites. Yeah. If we ever get away again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're going to drill a little, little hole through there. Put the socket here. <laughs> What's come out now? <laughs> I'll tell you what, the weather's a lot better here than it is in Berry. Is it? Best to have too much, not enough. Yeah. You can always buy more cable. Yeah. Right. Here it comes the rain. Comes the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Do the inside bit first then. No, I'll just yeah. make the socket off in here and All right. get everything ready. If I stand in the rain. So I probably should mention that although do it yourself as could do it, it's not really advisable. No. You should always have a registered electrician to do it for you. Yeah. Especially if you're a clueless person that <laughs> hasn't a clue. Which is Does he mean me? <laughs> <laughs> So you do know where they go, they're actually colour coded, so they're actually sticking, they've actually stuck things in the terminals. Yeah. How is it a click one? It might be a click one this one. Alright. Like push in? Yeah, push fit, the push Alright, okay. See? So I've not, not seen a push fit in one of these for. Yeah, push fits in lots of things these days, but yeah. not in these. But anyhow, they're all colour coded. So yeah. we've got our brown for live, and blue for neutral, and green for earth. earth. Yeah, it's on your cable. It'll be green and yellow. Yeah. Okay. Being crafty now. See, I'll just come round here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stand under the shelter. To the rain. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to get through as much as I need so I can make my ends off right so I always like to have a little bit more so I can always cut off the bits I don't need so if I mark that that's what it says I'm not cutting it all under needs to put a mark in the so insulation so I know where uh, I'm start. stripping back up stripping yeah. back to Mm -hmm. 
good tip actually that isn't it yeah so I'm up to mid mark That's a waterproof gland you've got there. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. So that's the water. Yeah. I weren't that keen on those. It the original wasn't one. that waterproof one. No, no. The one that. Oh, I watched it. Yeah. The one that was supplied with it wasn't as waterproof, so I've added a yeah. more watertight gland. I know it's un up under the eaves. Yeah. But I'd rather have it. Well, moisture gets in anyway, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Also, if you're ever fitting an outside socket, you should always make sure it's RCD protected. Yeah. If the circuit itself, if the electrical circuit's not uh, RCD mm. protected, yeah. you should make sure the this socket is RCD. Socket itself, RCD. yeah. Well, unfortunately, it's a relatively new house, so we have got breakers inside as well. found with these wires is they have to be a bit longer than you think they are going to be for it to grip properly. So if you do come across these make sure your wires what do you reckon about half what was a quarter of an about inch a or something? A about a centimetre the yeah. ends need to strip yeah. off. So your earth wire should always be marked with a green and yellow yeah. sleeve. Yeah. If you're using Another coloured wire instead of the colour that you're supposed to be doing. Again, it should be coloured with the right sleeve. Yeah. So yeah, that's about a centimetre there. Yeah. So that's that's. Like I said, these push fits are a nice idea, but I still prefer. I I, I I prefer the yeah. screws all the same, but yeah. It's like wired and wireless really isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I hate this time at year because I end up with too many pockets. I just shove <laughs> things in pockets. The wrong pocket, and then yeah. I go to look in the pocket it should be in. Yeah. <laughs> it's not there. <laughs> Tight, but it will be in a minute. We'll put the, you know, a bit of a extra tight on with the. I wonder, usually the mini flies, but it's. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Because I know it's going to be up there under the eaves. Yeah, so it'll be under there, there, yeah. 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 Right, excellent. Okay. That only took uh, half an hour to do that plan, didn't it? <laughs> right. Can you reach that way? Yeah, so you put it right up against the, the hole there. Yeah. As far up as possible, keep it out as much, like I said, they are yeah. waterproof, but if you want to. Oh. Shower proof, you know. If you keep them up there, that's it. Out of the way. Out of the way. Well, the screws just go on the outside of it, don't they? It's, yeah, they're just on the outside. Okay. Yeah. Put the cover on first. I just wanted to mark it up before yeah. I put the cover on. Oh. I must say that you can probably notice it's throwing it down at the moment. Yeah. And 
I'm using a battery drill. Yeah, rather you than must a, have electric. You're using electric, even if, um, when you've got RCD protection, you don't, you don't want to be using no. electric outside no. in this weather. I always find battery ones are easier to move about anyway. Yeah. Unless you need the power, of course. Yes, I've used a 5.5mm drill bit. If you use a 6 or 7 mil drill bit, then you need brown rod plugs. So one side's... Yeah, basically, it's so that you don't the have to take your screws out to both sides. Yeah. But, seeing as it, we're only just fitting it. We got Charles and Ads on his videos, how you got... Uh, uh, Robin Glenn on this one. Yeah. <laughs> You don't want to over tighten it, with it being plastic, you're using your battery drill, if you put yeah, you'll too much you'll crack on, it, yeah. You're just going to go, your, drill, your, plug, your screws are just straight through the yeah. fitting, so that's yeah. nice and tight. That's yeah. it, that's not going anywhere. Not going anywhere. Right, so that's just a little test. This is just a test that everything is solid. Yeah. That's nice and so that's not coming out. No. That's the other thing about having it up there, it's less likely to get damaged up there. Yeah. That is yeah. down at the bottom. Yeah, can't knock it or anything. Yeah. Just put this on top of you know. Another thing, you do your job, you clip in your wire. Yeah. On the top of the job it's like this. Yeah. It's perfectly allowable to have it clipped here. Yeah. However, you cannot clip it at the same place in the middle. Because it's possible so, so well, like that one goes across there. Yeah. If this were a loft, yeah. people could be up there and standing on that wire. On this wire here? Yeah. Yeah. Whereas on here... They really should have put the lights yeah. on the joists, shouldn't they? The, well, the lights are, are ideal where it is, but the cable should have come across the side of this. Oh, and, and along there? Along there. Yeah. If that had been a loft with a plasterboard and you're walking about to the top of it, yeah. that would have like, been a trip hazard. Yeah, I mean, you it's could stand on it, rip the wires out. Yeah, I mean, it's not ideal with me having these boxes up there, but <coughs> yeah. Now, because <coughs> I'm going to be changing the breaker in here, yeah, and I can do that by just turning that switch off, yeah, but I probably have to take the buzz wire out, yeah. So, we're going to isolate this in the house, in the house, yeah. So that this is totally dead coming in. Yeah. And we know we're not. Yeah. Got nothing coming yeah. in. Yeah. Got nothing coming in. Because yeah. uh, if, if, if if we're in the house, yeah. Then we'd be I'd, I'd be turning it off at the mains yeah. if I was. Yeah. Uh, but starting changing breakers. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. So okay. do you want to go and me go go and do that? Can manage that. You can go and do that. So it's the downstairs sockets. So that's turned that off. So it says downstairs sockets and garage. I'm just going to jump in here. Um, you really should be employing a qualified electrician to do any wiring, certainly within uh, these sort of fuse boxes. Uh, so I'm not going to show you with all the wiring that uh, Glyn did. Um, suffice it to say that Glyn knows what he's doing and uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you really shouldn't be doing this. So please take care. Anything to do with 240 volts, it is extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Well, so whilst you're in the house, Bob, yeah, and uh, turning off, yeah. I've proved these. I, I touched these on, yeah, you on know, that to make sure they were alive. I know off. these are working. Yeah, so don't trust me. No. <laughs> so yeah, with nothing coming in. Yeah. All we've got there is it's bleeping because. Resistance. The lights turned on, yeah, and it's making this circuit back through the right lighting. So now what we're going to do is take the offending uh, breaker out. So can you just uh, explain the number on these breakers? Yeah, so depending on your uh, type of breaker, yeah, a, a B type is generally a, a household yeah. domestic yeah. The B not relates to how quickly it breaks, doesn't it? It does, yes. Yeah. So how long have you been waiting for me to come here, Bob? 
<laughs> Only September, months. wasn't it? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. when you first mentioned yeah. it. Yeah. So well, I've been thinking of doing it for a while, you know, change it, get the socket on. Yeah. Know. I mean, what it will mean is that I can use garden tools as well, you know, garden. Yeah. Garden stuff outside, rather than having to open the garage every time. Do you not have an external socket on the Mosom? Uh, no. No. No, you've got one on the caravan, yeah. haven't you? Yeah. I, no. I quite often use it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff. they're useful for streamers and things yeah. like that. So I'm expecting this to be, it should be below 1.37 because 1.38, I can't quite remember the... 0.57, we're well within our no, right. parameters there. So, okay. So what we need to do now is do a an insulation test. Right, okay. So I you know, do this off by art. Yeah. I've got to start you, explaining yeah, it to somebody. Yeah. It's like, what am I doing? What am I doing, yeah. So, yeah. So what I'm doing, I've made sure that's all unplugged. So yeah. we're not yeah. going to be testing down to the, yeah. down the lead to the motorhome. We've obviously got nothing in there. The light's on a totally different fuse. And the reason I do this is, if they're plugged in, yeah. they're going to show a fault. Yeah. The other reason is, I'm going to shove 500 volts DC down it. So anything like a computer or anything that's plugged it's in... It's going to get fried. ...would get fried. Yeah. So... And we do this across live and neutral yeah. and live and earth. Before the 18th edition, we used to do it on uh, neutral and earth as well. But we don't do that anymore. Although I still like to test it now and again, but because we've got RCD at the other end, it's not going to do me any good. It's just super as a cup, so I need to set it to the insulation resistance setting. And this should be over 0.5, and to be safe, I'd like it to be over 0. Uh, over 2 yeah. ohms. Or okay. Anything over uh, 2 mega ohms, sorry. Yeah. 941 mega ohms. So that's really happy with that live neutral so this is the earth resistance you're yeah. testing yeah okay not <laughs> point nice no, that's because it's so close yeah it's back to the next one so. <laughs> yeah so I'm happy with that so you know the nice. earth's good from there to there then. yeah yeah so what i'm going to have to do now is i'm going to put our fuse box lid on yeah I'm going to take the top off that. Yeah. Because I now have to do the actual ZS again, which is another loop in PDS. Right, test. okay. So you're doing the same test on the socket itself yeah. then? Right, okay. So, so, oh, we need turning on at the fuse box. Right, 0 0.61, excellent. Right, okay, right. yeah. Is I'm going to test yeah. the RCD to make sure your RCDs work. Work, okay. I could do it on my own. Yeah. Well, then you're not going to see what's happening no. at the other end. No. So, I'm going to plug my machine in here. Yeah. And then I'm going to ask you yeah. to go into the, into the house. house. Yeah. You might go on, on to one. Mrs. Earth shows up yeah. the electric squeaky. Yeah. You know, and if yeah. you've got any computers on yeah. or anything like yeah, yeah. could get upset with the electric going on and off. Yeah. Turn them off first. All right. And uh, then. The electrical trip on the RCD. Yeah. And now it's going to do it four times. Okay. And after four times, I'll stop the test. Okay. I'll have an, the the readings I need. Okay. Then. All right. So it, I'm telling you, it's going to do it four times. Yeah. So you know how long to stand there. Okay. <laughs> Wait to trip. Right. Okay. Right. So. So what's that then? That's a. This is an adapter. Yeah. So it saves me having to take oh the right, okay. top to pieces. <laughs> okay. I can just plug it in. And they're all colour coded, so. Right. As long as you're not colour blind. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to set that onto RCD ZS, which it's on already. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I'm going to do it on RCD test. Yeah, and that will make the RCD trip. And that, this will make the RCD trip. Okay. And uh, we need to turn it on on there. Excellent. So if you bob inside, okay. 
Our readings are times one plus five point two and times and then twenty three point nine and times five is nine point five milli and twenty one point eight milliseconds. We have two readings on each yeah. because the electric travels along in waves. Right. And it's at the top of each wave where the yeah. C D trips. Yeah. So So different timings. It's different yeah, yeah different timings. Yeah. And the only reading I'm interested in yeah. is <coughs> the reading at times five. That's the, why you, the highest reading. So that's why you do it four times. Yeah. Yeah. To catch the wave, as it were. Exactly. Yeah. You saw you were surfing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's twenty-one point eight. Right. So that that brings it. That's it. Is it? It's done. All that needs to do now is I'll send you a certificate. Yeah. Okay. To Mr. Bob Earnshaw, yeah, that's an address that only I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I can plug my motor home in there. You can plug your motor home in. Excellent. Thanks well, for that, Glenn. I would get a shorter lead. Yeah. And if you do use your longer lead, yeah, remember to always unwind it. Yeah. Fully. Yeah. As I'm sure you've pointed out uh, many, many, many times. Yeah. Ones. Yes. Because unwound uh, wound up leads catch fire. I'm in place, I oh right, you've been on the phone. I already brought the bed. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall we plug it in? Yeah, plug it in. That's it. I'm going to shorten that lead, but I will leave that in there at the moment. Always know it's on when the microwave's on. There we are. Right, well, right. thank you for letting me do your job. That's well. And uh, if anybody's interested, I do cover most of the northwest of England. Yeah. And uh, but just remember, for me to come and do a job as small as this, probably would it be worth your while? Oh, it wouldn't be worth my while because I wouldn't, you wouldn't want to pay the price where I would have to charge no, it. There's a call out fee as yeah. well obviously, but if you're looking at any bigger work. Yeah, if you're looking at bigger work, yeah. then if you want to give us a ring, yeah. or probably con best to contact me on my uh, email, which is berryelectrician.com. I'll put the link on here. Yeah, and uh, I'll be happy to get in touch with you and yeah. come and give you a quote. Well thanks for coming Glenn. That's appreciate that and it does mean obviously I've got a much better setup now I'm going to shorten the lead here and uh, I can plug my strimmer into it as well yeah so thanks for doing that thank you very much all Bob. right cheers then I hope you found that useful it gives us a bit of an insight into a qualified electrician's work if you've got any queries or um, you need any help leave a comment below and uh, if you need a quote from Glenn or you want some work doing and uh, you, you need him to have a look at it drop him an email uh, the address will be about here and uh, I'm sure he'll be interested to hear from you if you found this video useful give us a thumbs up remember subscribe hit the notifications icon and we'll catch up with you in the next one so you probably need me to hold the flapper aren't you? no I'm not right. I don't what I need it's empty my ladder so I can stand on the top step <laughs> Outtakes. Outtakes. Electricians running backwards and forwards. Do 
you really realise you're not going to say, that's all right, that's just for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's Bob's mate, then it's just for <laughs> <a> Sandy. <laughs>